this is Odorous Urungus, and you are watching Outlaw Video TV. Uh, you actually asked our fans what they wanted to know. Yeah. Ooh, I'm, this is interesting. I didn't know they had feelings of their own. <laughs> Okay, my first question for you. If you guys have any inkling when this first started out, what substantial historical impact you would have on the music industry? Well, of course. In fact, we're surprised we haven't had more of an impact. I mean, we've had a massive impact. We're just surprised that people don't admit it. You know, everything that you have done that's worth a shit is because of us. And I'm not talking about Morty and Slipknot. Or even the new crappy Rob Zombie movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's he gonna do next? Remake White Zombie? <laughs> <laughs> and my first question is: Is it true? Our Earth rolls easy. Easy to beat up? Yes. Easy to break up with? Yes. Easy to. Uh, yes! Easy! <laughs> Very fucking easy! Awesome. Okay, Chris Sanchez from Negative 263 out of Abilene, Texas says, Boris always shared their political views by chopping off the head of world leaders and forums in the mainstream industry. Indeed. His question is, does Boris vote, and if so, who did you vote for and why? Well, we don't really vote so much by going to the ballot box and jacking off into a little slit. No, we like to vote with our swords and axes in front of everybody on stage. And then when I break off Barack Obama's face, in a way, I'm supporting the Democratic Party. I'm not really sure what way I'm supporting it, other than the fact that I'm ripping his face off. But a vote for Barack is a vote for the future because Let's face it, you can't fuck up anything any worse. You might as well let a black person be president. And uh, as you said, um, you've done a lot of political and famous people. What do you feel about Arnold Schwarzenegger having his own band on the same label as Metal Blade, Austrian and Death Machine? Oh, I think it's wonderful. Uh, Arnold and Guar are great friends. We are uh, both ex ex extraterrestrials. Ar Arnold is not even from this fucking planet. Anyone who's seen his appearances in Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, it's obvious. There were no special effects or stunt doubles used in those films. Uh, as far as the future is concerned, I can see a big tour with Austria Despacine and and War. Odorous and Arnold are great friends, and I support everything they do most heartily. Haram. What is better? Lust in Space or Lust on Earth? Oh, Lust in Space is way better than Lust on Earth. Something about a zero-G hard-on. I mean, to blow a wad in zero gravity, to suspend the orgasm in an airlock, it's like a, uh, it's like a state of perpetual coming. Love it. During a Dave Rocky show, you put your head in the in the kick drum for 30 minutes while on acid. Is that true? Well, I don't know much about this Dave Rocky guy other than that he is my personal butt boy. He goes around mouthing off all the time saying he's odorous or And if I could ever get my hands on him, I would shut him up pretty damn quick. But I seem to have a difficult problem getting in the same room at the same time as him. As far as head and drum for 30 minutes on acid, uh, I, I, yeah, it's all true, but I'm going to deny everything. <laughs> what tastes better, humans or animals? Well, depends on what you eat. If you eat nothing but Captain Crunch and Pop-Tarts, you're a pretty tasty human. If you're a fucking animal that eats shit, not so tasty. Next question. Dave Brock, Dave from the band Trumpet of Boca City, Louisiana. Wants to know what your guilty pleasure is in music. Something you listen to that no one would play. Uh, you two or Bruce Springsteen? Pick them. <laughs> What's your favorite U2 record? Uh, 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 u
the uh, human Ryan Slagle and Spider Metal Blade, besides you guys, they have like an awesome metal god. Uh, what do you have to say about working with him? He's bald, he enjoys hockey, he's a big palooka, and he's a Buffalo Bills fan, which is almost as painful as being a Washington Redskins fan. But he is a goddamn supporter of metal from way the fuck back. And uh, he's probably done more for metal than Lars Moritz left told him. How did you like working with David Townsend on Beyond Hell? And what influence did he have? And are there any plans for a movie based on Beyond Hell? Well, that would be wonderful. If some fucking uh, Hollywood producer would just have the balls to give us like millions of dollars, it would do a fucking great version of Beyond Hell. Working with Devin was great. He's so fucking talented. He recorded us, and then basically I could pass out underneath the mixing board for days on end, knowing that Devin would be uh, making the record sound better all the time. Uh, ever since that project, though, he pretty much has uh, withdrawn from heavy music. Far ruined him as far as heavy music is concerned. I believe he lives in an, on an island in Vancouver now, and uh, he has nothing but little... Uh, Goblin babies shoving pine cones up his ass. Is there any inkling of thought of making it warm? You like that word inkling, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You used it yeah. twice. Quit trying to impress me with your vocabulary. <laughs> Sorry. Is there any plans in the future? Plans! Yes, plans. Much better than inkling. The obvious thing is that most Quark fans don't know what the fuck you're talking about when you say inkling. It's like, am I an inkling? It almost sounds like somebody who has like, like that's the new slang word for black people or something. <laughs> <laughs> Chester the Monster from Dallas, Texas, wants to know how many episodes of Beyond Hell will you be doing? It failed miserably. I refuse to let that fucker have any other bands. His entire existence is squeezing my butt nipples. But go ahead and buy the record. Will him and Lordy ever be friends? Fuck Lordy! That finished faggot. Maybe he should hang out with Rob Zombie. Like anyway, Lord will do a porn. Oh, I will do porn. Get me in there. I'll, I'll ram it in there. Turn that light back on. Look at this cock. This thing was made for porn. My entire, my entire life is a porn movie. And uh, if I could just get it filmed, I think the reason that I haven't made it in porn yet is that the other porn actors are, are jealous. I don't even need to have an erection to shove this into an elephant's vagina. If they just found fucking elephants sexy, I would be making a lot of money right now. Instead, it's that bitch from a uh, house bunny or whatever. God, I'd rip her face off. Right. Last question. Slap and shameless in the face with it. Yeah, slap shameless face, sure. Please shave first, though. I hate them when they're not washed. Dear Harvin from Texarkana, Texas, wants to know, did you behead Lodi Gray on the stage? I don't even understand what that question means. Did you behead Lordy on stage? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, we just had his head on a stick. But that was, that was actually, that was actually too much attention to give him, really. You, you know, feel really Lordy as a more rip guys fan? Like, like Lordy, I mean, they're from Finland, aren't they? Right. Yeah. Guys, we got to wrap it up. That's it. All right. Log off Shameless. Got a video TV. All right, you guys. This is Odorous from Bar telling you, Lost in Space, Bar's 25th anniversary, motherfucking greatest album ever fucking made on Metal Blade Records. We're out on tour right now with the Red Cord. and up for a cowboy. And hell yeah, it's the greatest motherfucking show in rock and roll history. So see Quar on our 25th anniversary. And I maybe won't come to your house and break your dog.